My first guest tonight from his roles on Heroes, Gilmore Girls, and now, this is us. As Randall's father, you are his foundation. Come lie down, as if you're gonna do a push-up. Randall, climb on your father's back. Jack, your back was built to carry your son through life. Are you willing to hold him up no matter what comes his way? Yes. Show. Good. Now keep going. Are you willing to raise this young boy into a strong man? Yes. Are you willing to push him to be the best man in the world he can be? Yes. <laughs> Please welcome Milo Ventimiglia. Hey. Misty. I was a little misty. <laughs> a little Me misty. Too. I still Are get you it. Trying yeah. to break my heart on every scene of this show. Not trying, but I think it just kind of happens. You know, Father's Day is coming up. Yes. On very this, big uh, day. Do you have children of your own? No, I do not. So I'm, just, I'm, you... I'm completely playing pretend when I'm playing a dad. I'm making it up. You, well, you look like you'd be a good one. Thank you. I'm not sure. I have children. I'm not sure I could do that push-up <laughs> thing. I bet you could. Well, my kids are like six Adults. two now. <laughs> Well, we actually, we did something, myself and my co-stars, uh, Sterling K. Brown, of course, who plays adult Randall. We thought it'd be, yeah, I know, amazing actor, amazing man. We thought it'd be interesting to have him get on my back. And actually, there, there's, ha I have a video of him on my back, and then we have Justin on his back, and then Sterling on Justin's back, just to, you know, let people know, like, we all support one another, and... and they beat me. They totally beat me in that, that push-up version, so. Even that explanation's gonna make me cry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How many of those push-ups did you have to do for that scene? Uh, that day, I think I had 223 push-ups with Lonnie on my back. What? Um, that's what the editors told me that day. Wow. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't sure what you were about to do. I thought you were gonna sneeze. No, I like that. Well, um, uh, the show is huge. Congratulations on that. It's Thank one you. of the best shows on TV right Thank now. You. Um, Thank you. Are you a crier yourself? Because one of the things that people talk about the show is that you can't get out of there without crying. You know, it's not, it, your ratings are fantastic, but you really should just be measured in just how many cc's of saline you have at the yeah, end. Yeah, absolutely. Of the episode. Are you a crier yourself? Um, I emotionally? think as I'm as I've gotten older, like I'm closing in on forty, and now I feel a little more connected. You're closing in on forty. Yeah. You go to hell. <laughs> you look really good. Thanks, man. man. Yeah, I got uh, Peter and Carol Ventimiglia gave me some pretty good jeans. Oh, mom and dad. Yeah, they did pretty good. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I, I cry a little bit. I'm more, more connected to my emotions nowadays. I've heard the show being measured in actual tissue boxes, one to five, but I've never heard saline bags. That sounds like something way different. <laughs> um, uh, can I say something about you? Yeah. You've got a, a lovely last name, Ventimiglia. Thank you. Does anyone ever try to talk you out of that name professionally? Like, yes. I were thinking Milo. Venti. Really? My very first agent when I was a kid, when I was 16 years old, trying to like, crack into Hollywood, they said, you know, your last name is just, we love your first name, but your last name's a little long. How about Milo Venti? Had I said yes, I would have been Milo Large Cup of Coffee at this point. <laughs> <laughs> but, but also, there were other like, iterations when I was a child, you know, I, I, you know like Milo Venti Vegetarian and Milo Venti... And then Milo Venti... I was actually running onto a football field one time, and it was like, Aaron Steger, Jeff Smith, Milo Ventum, whatever. And, and I literally said whatever? Ventum whatever. And I was 12, and I'm running on. I'm super excited. And it's like, wait, what the? I... The okay. silent G throws people. Was Always. that your team's announcer or the opposing team's announcer? Good question. Thank you. It's what I, it's what I do for a living. <laughs> <laughs> See, people give me lines and... Now, um, the, one of the things that you have uh, a distinction uh, of a, 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 an experience that very few people on television have had, only three oh, yeah. male bare butts have been shown on broadcast television. Correct. Okay. Correct. Jimmy Smith's. Yes. 
Uh, Dennis Franz, I believe. You guys can clap for that one, yeah. too. Come on. That's Curry. <laughs> and your butt, the very first time we see you in yes. This Is Us, we actually see your butt before we see your face. Yes, you do. Which, uh -huh. uh, I mean, I was about to make a bad joke and say, how do you follow that? But I guess I did. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, it follows you. But it I follows me, that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you take that, but. So, um, was that in the table read? We see his butt? Or yeah. were they to say when they were shooting that day, you know what, let's lose the pants? No, that was actually You Dan know, we got the, this way. Let's lose one of yeah. with no pants, see what happens. Yeah, right? Um, no, I, the funny thing was, I showed up to work that day and there were just these nude or flesh colored patches of cloth and tape. And I'm kind of looking at this like, wow, Dan Fogelman, who he wrote this in the script, he yeah. wasn't joking around. Like, it is going to be like me covering my manhood, and then, you know, that. So what? So is it a flesh? It's not like a tube sock. What are they? It's a flesh color. Well, they, piece they, of... they, they gave options. They well, gave what, options. What if you were go, the if you options? Actually, if you here's an old turtle shell. What do we? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> here's a child's. Here's yeah. a child's backpack. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> a know. backpack. Wow, I'm impressed. Here's a 50-gallon duffel bag. <laughs> so, so yeah, what me do, and John Hamm. Yeah, what, do, what, do they, uh, uh, what do they do there? Um, they basically were just like, here, you know, pick your poison, yeah. here's your option, whatever you guys want. Have you done do. a lot of nude scenes? Are you I, comfortable with the nudity? Uh, I'm okay with it. I mean, I, you know, it's a hard-working butt. Um, <laughs> my, uh, my trainer, Jason Walsh, she makes sure, you know, things are You do some squats? Out. Do some squats, you do don't some skip deadlifts. leg day? That's nope, nice. never skip leg day. I did a, I did a, I did a nude scene once, just not, not that you asked, but I did a nude scene once. You did, like, full frontal nude? I was 19. Get out! And when they asked me, I said, I should do this now. <laughs> I knew that it wasn't gonna last much longer. Yeah. yeah. So what about on set, when you're, when you're, when you're nude, when you're, when you're, when, when you're there and you're, you're it's all hanging out. I, I keep my. You clear the set or is um, it? Yeah, they'll, they'll be polite and, you know, clear the set, close the set is what they call it. And then okay. usually, um, you know, I had a towel on the day we were filming, you know, the That's terrible nice. towel. That's nice. And then I just kind of kept my back to a wall in between takes. But I was still trying to, you know, kind of communicate with like the grips and the electric, like, hey, what's up, Chris? <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Good to mm -hmm. see you, Don. Yep, mm -hmm. all right. <laughs> Going over to the food table? No, I, I didn't. I didn't. I waited. What's I waited. I waited. I was like, <laughs> you can't mix ass and, you know, food. Red vines, no. Yeah, you could. You could. You could. <laughs> now, uh, uh, you uh, were lucky enough at a pretty young age to get some work on television. We found a clip here, which I believe is the first time you were ever on television. Oh. This is, is this, what is it, what is this from? Fresh, Fresh Prince this of Bel-Air. This is from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was, that was my, that was my very first paying gig as an actor. Yep. And, yeah, it was my very first paying what gig. What was your character? Who was your character? I was party guest number one. It was, I'll set the scene, it was 1995, so I had some awesome overalls, shirt unbuttoned, open, hair, just so. And, uh, <laughs> here we go. First appearance. Doing. No one's allowed in the bedroom. Hey, relax, Ash. We're just taking a little tour. <laughs> <laughs> tour. Taking a tour. Exploring. Yeah. Exploring. Exploring. Being young. Guys were totally having sex upstairs. Absolutely having sex upstairs. Just for backstory, when you went up the stairs, were you totally nude when you got up there? Uh, and I had a terrible towel. <laughs> yeah. Lovely to meet you. Likewise. Milo Ventimiglia. <laughs> This Is Us returns this fall, months from now, on NBC. We'll be right back.